Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2010 on a 60 plate uh, Volkswagen Caddy uh, 1.9 TDI. Uh, Caddy Maxi, so the L2 long wheelbase version with the twin side loading doors. Uh, quite a rare bit of kit this. Um, most of the uh, most of the caddies of this shape with a 2 litre SDI, normally aspirated diesel. Uh, obviously this being the 1.9 TDI is far more desirable engine. Um, and it's a two keeper from new vehicle, it's just arrived in part exchange with us. Obviously British Gas is the first owners uh, and it's had a uh, obviously a second owner since then. He's just bought a new van off us, we've taken this one in part X. Um, so cosmetically a few minor bits and pieces as you kind of probably expect of a van of of this age. Um, we have just had all of the steel wheels uh, refurbished on it, so those have been powder coated. Uh, so those are all nice. You've got a couple of brand new tyres on the front there as well. And then as part of the process, it will go through our workshops. It will have a full service done on it, including a cam belt change as well, so you won't have to worry about that. Um, <clears throat> let's start the walk around so you get an idea of what it is. <clears throat> so looking up there on the roof, a uh, surprising amount of dust fallen on it overnight since it was valeted, but hopefully you can see that there are no major dents or anything up there on the roof. Coming down onto your windscreen, the windscreen is all good. Oh, look at that. You got All you can see is the, is the clouds, isn't it? But um, yeah, windscreen wise, no major stone chips to point out to you. It's all pretty damn good to be fair. Down there onto the bonnet. Bonnet, equally not bad condition either for the age. Uh, we have a really slight scratch, don't know whether you can see it. Um, I think a polishing mop might well make that a little bit better. Um, but there is a little bit of a scratch there. Just about see a bit of British gas on the front there in the right light. But, as I say, not bad for the age. Front of the bumper's all good. Passenger headlight unit is all good. Passenger front bumper corner, as you can see, no major scuffing there, all pretty good condition. Now, as I say, we've just refurbished all of these steel wheels, so steel wheels are all very nice. You have got front, uh, new front tyres on it as well. At the moment, we've got a broken wheel arch liner just inside there. Uh, I'm sure we can order up a new one for you from Volkswagen and get that fitted. Looking down the side of the van, okay, we have a really, really whether you can see that there a little bit of a ding on the front there it's nothing major hasn't broken the paint and then looking down the side of the van pretty straight to be fair a couple of minor things that i'll show you as we get further on down the back end of the vehicle a mirror unit we have a little bit of a scuff on the mirror unit the mirror unit itself is in uh, is in good condition mirrors etc all good that passenger front wing a different view of it there uh, passenger side front door is all good, door glass is all good, uh, a couple of minor stone chips on the door edges that need sorting out, uh, we'll get those and we've got a couple of sort of scratches here which again uh, we'll get the touch up stick on it, see if we can get those sorted out for you, sliding door passenger side, as I say minor chips and scratches around the edges nothing major but they are there we will get a touch-up stick on it passenger door sill has got a couple of dents in it I haven't really broken the paint but they are there can you see it here so he's just caught it and one there as well so nothing major but they are there They're on the sill you may or may not notice them but we're pointing them out to you Rubbing strip down the side of the vehicle, not in bad condition. Upper rear quarter, all good. Lower rear quarter, all good. The sliding door rail is in good condition. And in here we have, does need a clean, we'll get that re-cleaned to be fair. But the, um, obviously got an anti-fuel, uh, device uh this thing here is um stop you putting the wrong fuel in it basically rear steel wheel and tire is good 
Uh, we have a little bit of condensation in the rear light unit. Um, it doesn't appear to be broken or anything. It might just be from the valeting, so I think that should dry, especially in the weather we're just about having at the moment. Again, looking down the passenger side of the van, pretty straight and tidy. The rear bumper corner is all good with no real scuffing on it. Um, we'll get the outside of the van done first of all, show you the inside. Back end of the vehicle, rear barn doors, you've got privacy glass in the back end. Um, you do have reverse parking sensors fitted to it. They are aftermarket, they're not the best ones in the world, but they do still work. And we have a little bit of impact damage there where he's obviously paid no attention to the parking sensors. Door, passenger side, rear, pretty good. Um, the uh, This is broken here. I don't think it's a major drama. It's just where the door opens up. Um, so, not a major drama, but it is there. Got the additional security lock there. We do appear to have a key on the key ring for that. So, now the other thing that we have is the security guard, which goes in this rear window here, uh, is slightly broken. Uh, just needs securing in a little bit. So. Uh, we'll see what we can do in order to get that secured in for you. As it is at the moment, it's fallen off into the back there. But hopefully you can see factory rear bulkhead, side of the van, etc. For the age of miles, is in pretty good condition, isn't it? Uh, rubber flooring in the back. And this door, this side, still got the security guard fitted. A few minor marks and stuff on it, but not in bad condition, really, for the age of the miles. <laughs> Becoming increasingly popular for a bit of conversion, these things are. Little mini camper. Certainly cheaper than the T5, that's for sure. And if we look down the driver's side of the van, again, straight, tidy, no major dents or dings to point out to you. Bumper, driver's side corner's all good. Light unit, driver's side corner's all good sliding rail for your sliding door this side's all in good order lower rear quarters in good order upper rear quarters in good order and your steel wheel and tire on the back here loads of tire tread depth on it and all good sliding door this side all good upper sliding doors all good a couple uh, we've got a little touch in there which we can get done on it door edges driver's door need touching up we can get those sorted out for you Door glass, driver side's all good. Door driver side's all good. And the sill down this side is all in good order as well. Mirror unit, uh, all good. The bottom half of the unit, you can't see it, okay? There's the unit, there's the unit. Get down on your hands and knees. The bottom of it is broken. Um, don't think that is too derogatory to the car. It's pretty solid don't really notice it I'm not convinced we'll be getting it done um, driver side front wing all good order and again steel wheel this side with a brand new tire on it as well uh, driver side front bumper corner is all good headlamp unit driver sides all good as well start opening up in the lock inside sliding door this side the painted sill parts in good order your plastic sills good order Gives you another view of your bulkhead. Being British Gas, got a bit of additional LED lighting. That's just a little bit of an excess wire. Uh, British Gas vans normally come with a full racking system that really is pretty useless to anybody other than British Gas. So that has been removed. It just needs those wires tucking out of the way. So we will get that sorted for you. Coming into the front cabin. Driver's door card. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good, I think, really. Electric windows. Electric heated mirrors, central locking there, inside your door cards. Not perfect, but pretty damn good. Entry sill, driver's side. Again, not worn through on the metalwork or anything. Rubber flooring in the driver's side's all good. Rubbers on your pedals are all good. Obviously, we've got a uh, headlamp switch here, headlamp levelers and dashboard illumination on the left. Uh, vents are all in good order there. Top of your dashboard, all good. Driver's seat itself, 
good thing about this van, it's not stupid miles, is it? 84,000 miles, I think it is. Pretty damn good for the age. Seats themselves, they're not excessively worn or anything. They're nice and clean and tidy. They are height adjustable, so this will ratchet your seat up and down. Uh, still got a bit of the British gas storage stuff behind the seats there. I'll pop the bonnet so you can have a quick look under the bonnet. It's a bonnet opener. Look at the badge. Right in front of your badge there. Just lift up this little trim here. That opens up your bonnet. Bit of your sound deadening's uh, gone a little bit manky there, but there's nothing, it's nothing too bad. Battery is pretty good. I can't remember whether we replaced it or not, but it's certainly a replacement battery. British gas vans one with a battery isolator on them. So when they do get low, it'll isolate the battery instead of it going completely flat. A 190 TDI engine, pretty bulletproof engine these things are. And then, I don't know whether you can see down there, but it is clear. See the orange bit, that's your coolant. That's your VW spec coolant. It should always be that color. As you can see, it's not contaminated or anything like that. Uh, fuel filter here, um, screen wash here. Uh, we have power steering filler here, brake fluids down the back there. Obviously your anti-freezer's there. You need to top up your oil. It's that one there. There's your dipstick uh, and air filters in this box here. Uh, looking at the front end, your wing bolts, as you can see, original paintwork on there. Same with your bonnet bolts, just shows you that it's not had any panels removed on the front end. A couple of free leaves for you. Uh, and it's nice that it's on hydraulic struts as well. It always makes life a little bit easier. Now what we have done on this van is, as you can see, the sliding door on this side now works perfectly. We have replaced this bottom um, ball roller here uh, and then when we did that because it scratched the seal we've just had the seal painted on it as well uh, plastic steps all good another view inside really and then opening up the passenger side door card this side all in good order and your entry seals and plastics on this side is all good rubber floorings in good order seating etc all good so there we go so just to recap it's a two keeper from new british gas being the first owners i think he was an electrician the guy the electrician i think who had the, who was the second owner of it um we've taken it in partex off him uh we will do a full service and cam belt change on it before it goes out it will have a fresh mot on it before it goes out you've already got two brand new front tires fitted to it steel wheels have just been refurbished uh 19 tdi it's so a fairly rare in the fact it's got the old reliable 19 tdi volkswagen unit fitted to it and um yes caddy maxi so long wheelbase van uh that's about it we'll have 70 odd photos on our website very shortly our website is vanstoday.com we are vans today worcester based in the center of the country and you can contact me by telephone on 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com uh, if you need to check out our reputation we are on the internet google linkedin instagram facebook all the normal stuff uh, feel free to get in touch if i can be of any more help thanks for looking at the video you just made it through 14 minutes of me waffling on well done cheers <laughs>